guys, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna make this as quick and dirty as I can since, as most of you know, this is a big weekend for me. It is Sabotin Con weekend. It is the biggest anime convention in Arizona and it's even bigger this year. I have so much going on and as you can probably tell, I'm still preparing for it. Um, I also started school last Friday, so just, it's just like everything at once. I don't know how I've gotten any sleep this week. Um, anyway. Um, first I will answer the geeks questions and then I'll make two awesome announcements including who I will be interviewing for next week's video. Don't skip ahead and be a cheater, I have good stuff to say. Anyway, um, first off Mario, thank you for your encouragement. Um, I, the funny thing is I do actually want to run a panel about how to run panels. Um, I know out loud that sounds really stupid, but there is definitely a science to submitting things and getting them accepted and getting people to show up, and especially how to actually give the panel and give a presentation and speak in front of people. Um, and I know quite a bit a lot about that, so I'd really like to educate others on it, so that's kind of a dream for next year for me, so keep an eye out for How to Run a Panel Panel by Luluco. Um, and I meant to tell you this earlier. Um, on Facebook, but the cafe outside my school's library was playing the Juno soundtrack today, and I thought of you. Um, and I too understand the rage you feel for people who dish out spoilers. I'm looking at you, Doctor Who fandom. If you post any spoilers to my Twitter feed over the weekend while well, I'm away at a con, probably without internet, I will hunt you down. I will find where you live. And I will, I don't know, I'll call Stephen Moffat and like have him tell you what happens for the rest of the series ever and just watch as you sob dramatically because now you know everything that's gonna happen. I don't know, that's the worst possible torture I can think of for a Doctor Who fan. Um, anyway. Um, speaking of Twitter, guess who has one now? Me. I do. Um, the link is in the comments if you really want to read about the things I learned in Japanese class and how much I love white collar. Uh, Nikki, thank you too for your kind words. Like I said, this is my first real prop. I have my, like, this is like the coolest thing I've made up till now. My pimp cane for Beatrice. Um, yeah, so this is a huge undertaking for me. Um, I'm glad that you think it looks good, but seriously, please don't be impressed. It's not that great. Um, and thanks for your review on Animegacon. It kind of sounds like how I expected it to be. Um, I'm really glad that the group who won, won. Um, it was that Idolmaster group with all the LEDs and stuff, and I'm a fan of, like, most of the girls who are in that group, so I'm really thrilled that they won because their costumes were incredible. But, yeah, from what I can tell, that, that grand prize really brought out the best in people. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm not crazy about casinos and kind of Vegas in general, but it seems like it'd be a fun place to do a con and do photo shoots, so I may try to go next year if it's um, on my boyfriend's birthday weekend again, but we'll see what the next year brings. Um, and Vampy. I am really looking forward to talking to her. Um, like, you probably remember you were there because we spoke to her for like two seconds at Fanime, and I don't think she remembers me, but anyway, um, I'm really excited that she's going to be at Sabo. Uh, she's one of the masquerade judges, so I'm like sort of torn between like peeing my pants and fangirling. I don't know. And it doesn't help that she's cosplaying my boyfriend's Gundam wife that he's begged me to cosplay since the day we met. Yeah, I might as well just go buy 50 cats and check up with Nikki. Yeah. Steph, first off. Um, and secondly, I am really excited to see how your marble print dress turns out. Um, a local Alita designer I once modeled for called Cake Shop Couture. Um, they actually had one for their fashion shows back in May, and it was, oh my god, it was so cute. And ever since then, I've been dying to make one of my own, but the fabric's just, like, so expensive. It's, like, 12 bucks a yard. Um, so I just haven't gotten to it yet. Also, welcome to the world of figure collecting where everything you love is delayed. Deal with it. Um, Pyro, I really liked your answer to Mario's question about whether or not comics will ever be accepted as a true art form. Um, obviously, they absolutely are. Um, and I think they will be um, accepted more in the future because not only is the definition of art always changing, but what is and what isn't acceptable 
um, changes by every generation as well. So I think with our generation, as we've gotten older, um, geeky stuff has become a lot more mainstream and more acceptable, as we've discussed in previous videos. So I think um, it may not happen next year or even in the next decade, but I think over time, within our lifetime, we'll see comics considered as art right up there with fashion, music, painting, and all that good stuff. Okay, so on to the announcements. First off, just last week, I was asked to be part of a brand new cosplay magazine called Cosplay Shinko, which is now the little sister of We Rise magazine, which is currently working on a cosplay feature issue. It's been happening just so fast. Um, it's insane how we've already started up and everything that's going on right now. I'm already in the works to get interviews with two huge, huge names. Um, and it's just been so exciting and nerve-wracking to be part of it. Um, the aim of this magazine, it's not like, you know, Cosmo or um, Cosplay Gen or things like that. It's basically to bring you the best stuff you've never heard of. There's so many great cons and great cosplayers that just go unnoticed for, you know, whatever reason. And that's not right. And, you know, there's so many people who deserve a chance in the spotlight. And we want to find those people. We want to find those cons and give them the time and attention that they deserve. So that is our aim. Um, as I said, we're just now getting started. Um, our first issue is not out till January. We are working on a 30 page preview spread for the November issue of We Rise. So if you guys wanna jump in and support the project of Sweet Startup, the links to our Facebook and Twitter accounts are in the comments. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, and hopefully you didn't cheat and skip to the end because I know where you live. Um, as I mentioned last week, Salvatin Khan has some really, really amazing guests. Probably the best lineup we've ever had in Arizona. And I took the initiative to email a few of them to see if they'd want to, you know, let me interview them for Geeks of the Week. Well, today one of them got back to me. Are you ready for this? Because I'm not. Um, I will be interviewing Pikmin Lake. Yes. Me. Me. I will be interviewing freaking Pikmin Link. Um, if you don't know who she is, shame on you, um, because her cosplays will blow your mind, so please make sure to check her out. Um, I am still in shock that this is going to be happening. So yes, I will do my best to get that up for next week's video if I'm not too dead to, inter to upload it and edit it and all that stuff. But it will be up, um, so please look forward to that because I know I am. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, oh yeah, Nikki sent me a package and it actually got here today just in time for the video. So um, if I can figure out how tape work. Oh look! And Crunchyroll wristband. Excellent. I was pretty jealous that you got some of these, so now I have one. Yay, Crunchyroll. What else? A note with a bobby pin. Which is great, because I need one. Cool. I didn't have any lined paper, and I go wonky without la lines, but I found tiny cue cards. I also didn't have a paper clip. Sorry. First of all, Fanime was too short and I miss you. Hopefully we'll be able to spend more time together next time. Or secondly, so anyway, I know you haven't been having the greatest time lately likewise, so here's one thing you might already have, but I know you like the site. And something I know you don't have, to remind you that things aren't always what they seem and you will always have friends to help you through your storms. And when you look in a mirror and doubt yourself, remember that perception can be deceiving and you are amazing on the inside. Oh yeah, it's just a ring, but the sentiment remains. A shabby blue box can hold a world inside and no one would know. I hope it fits. I suck at guess <laughs> guesstimating ring sizes. I also, I can't wait to share Doctor Who feels with you this season. Enjoy my horrible drawings. Enjoy life and keep smiling because it's the only one you've got. Love, Nikki. Nikki's so cute. Look, she drew me a tiny TARDIS and a tiny Eleven. Aww. This has to go up on the... I think I need a geek club wall going back here. Aww, Nikki's the best.
to hate Nikki for having a TARDIS ring because now I have one too. This is pretty snazzy. Yes, I'm going to wear this on my left hand because Nikki and I are married now. So, anyway, oh, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, this just made my whole week. Um, anyway, that's all for me. Um, I will see you guys after Sabo Tin Con. Um, oh, right. Um, if you will be at Sabo, please let me know. Um, come say hi if you want to know when my panels are, when I'll be. Please check my Facebook. Um, and what I'll be wearing. I still need to announce that. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for 300 subscribers and all your support and everything. And I'll see you guys next week.